Andrew's experience and meeting um, Don Jose as well. Uh, give yeah. me some Leo Santa Cruz because Leo is one of the most humble human beings ever. Um, tell me some stuff. Very humble. Um, it's You don't even notice him in the gym there, which is, of course, I would notice him because I've seen him on TV all the time and everything, seen his fights. But, yeah, it's like he's not even there. He's just a quiet guy, um, very laid back, almost the same way as his dad. His dad's the same, very quiet and laid back, kind of just mind their own business. But um, – great guys and it was a good experience to get down to that gym um spar with one of his fighters i sparred with jerry perez and um it's just cool to see where they're at where i could possibly be at and that they still keep that humble attitude because i feel i'm that way still of course i'm just starting my career i have no reason to be cocky um i think that's cool that there's guys like that that still exist well, I mean, I think that you're also hanging around two of the most normal boxers ever in Robert Guerrero and Leo Santa Cruz, where it's like they've accomplished about everything you can accomplish in boxing and you still might see them at the local like supermarket shopping. Like there's like this, yeah. there's this normal human being to them where I, I don't think I'd ever see these guys with security guards or trying yeah. to fight for there. I guess I'm saying a whole lot of words to say Robert Guerrero and Leo Santa Cruz to me feel like champions of the people where they want to be around people. They don't ever want to push themselves away from people. Right. Yeah. I respect that. Well, give us some info. Give me a good gym story. Um, from being there. Um, shoot. Uh, after sparring his fighter, um, after sparring Leo Santa Cruz fighter and with the dad, um, 